All right, so we're at the 2018 Overland Expo. We're with Hans from Trill Kitchen, and we're gonna walk you through all the models right after this. So these are all three models of the camp kitchen assembled like you'd be packing them in the car. Yeah. Um, you tighten up the knobs, the same knobs that you use for the lid are actually assembled at table. And you put it in table mode, but this gives you a feel for kind of the general size of the compact, the camp kitchen, and the camp kitchen with the integrated stove. Yeah. The compact unit has been probably our most popular unit amongst overlanders because of smaller vehicles smaller. and just the overall space. Yeah. Um, and with the compact, what we do is we have an optional hanging utensil um, carrier organizer that fits in the very front of the unit once you get it packed full. Um, in all the units, we have the same table configuration. Um, and what we really focused on with the tables is stability, ease of um, adjusting to variable terrain, and ultimately a really comfortable place and height to work on. Yeah, so it's a complete workstation and cleaning station. Yeah, the idea is everything in there. one spot, one right? Spot. You don't need a roll-up table, you don't need a folding table, yep. you have everything in one box. Yep. So all your kitchen gear in one spot, and all of your workspace focused in one area, so you're not yep. walking around, you're not taking some pins, you have everything available to you. And this model is your in-between model? Yeah, this is the camp kitchen, and what we do with the next size up from the compact is we add a utensil drawer, we include the organizers, we add a shelf to make it easier to pull your stove off and yep. leave your cooking gear in place. We have made a change from this earlier prototype. We now have all the camp kitchen doors flipping down. Oh, really? Yeah, that, that allows you to access this other sure. table more easily. We, you know, use always uh, leads to changes. So yep. we had some feedback from folks in the field and, and our own use, and we said, hey, you know, that's a better way to do it. So this is a fairly new model, right? Yeah. What we've done for vans, uh, you know, mostly the new Euro style vans, the Sprinters and the Transits and the Promasters. Is the galley and the water system are one of the hardest things to accomplish, yeah. especially for the DIY crowd. And so what we yeah, really want to do is provide a completely self-contained water system, cooking system, kitchen storage all in one unit. Yeah. So we took the integrated stove unit, we match the the door to whatever finish you have, and there's a there's a bamboo, um, which is probably going to replace the birch. But now we have a birch, a bamboo, on um, a brushed aluminum, which is in uh, Grant's van here, and we also do it in the white. So people have a kind of a, a range of things. That they, the way that this integrates is actually with two pins. So you can pull this unit out, so it's exactly like the other camp kitchen with the two tables and the hanging tables, and it locks into the base unit with two of these D10 screws, one inside the cabinet, one on the outside, and locks that part of the unit into the base unit, and so you can cook inside um, or outside. Or outside, so you can easily, easily take So Yeah, the idea is you kind of make the transition. You might do hot water um, in the morning inside, and then when you go to camp, you want to cook your real meal, then pull the, the unit out, and you have all that space. Yep. All right, so now we're in your uh, van with the system so, we just saw. That's correct. So this is the brushed version of the TK van kitchen, and I just wanted to show you kind of the in and out uh, thought that went into this. So the idea here is that you can utilize the tap. You can either have constant yep. flow or pulse flow. And you can do your dish cleaning out here. You can have your camp kitchen set up adjacent to it, and you have this additional space. So this flip down table, Remove this, and uh, then it locks the table itself. is easily deployed. And, you know, we use this a lot for sandwich yeah. making. It's beer, not on the side of the road. Beer you holder, can... that sort of thing. You know, so beer holder is good. Yeah. So good. this is uh, a really Great. convenient piece of it, and this is available on the passenger version. We also do a driver side version which reverses the sink location, yeah. same exact design, but the sink goes against the driver's seat and the inputs and outputs for the water are in the end panel facing the driver's seat. Uh -huh. So that's something we've added in the last couple of months. Uh, that's on the website, you can see 
how that yeah. configuration works in the pictures as well. Okay, so uh, you ran us through all the models. What are the what's the price range from top to bottom? Oh, good question. Um, so the compact units, so of the camp kitchens of the three sizes, the yeah. compact's the smallest. That's four ninety nine. Yeah. Camp kitchen with the utensil drawer is six ninety nine. Yeah. The integrated stove unit is eight ninety nine. Okay. And then um, when it comes to TK Van Kitchen, we're at twenty six twenty five without the electrical system, without the battery rechargeable system, the fully autonomous. Yeah. You just wire directly into the pump switch. And in the case of the fully outfitted is twenty nine twenty five. Okay. Great. And then the Wrangler unit we didn't go through, which is a sliding unit for SUVs. That's twenty four ninety five. Twenty four ninety five. And that includes a compact kitchen and a water system. Okay. Great. Thanks, so if uh, someone wanted to buy one, where do they go? Well, they can come to trailkitchens.com. We've got a network of dealers yeah. throughout the country as well. We really encourage you to visit them. And uh, there's a map and a listing on the website. So yeah, see the dealers first. It's always great to see it firsthand. And yeah. then come see us and give us a shout directly That as well. That's fine. great. Make sure to check these things out. You guys will love it. If you're into camping, off-roading, overlanding, anything, car camping, this is the system you want.